Happy Friday. Welcome to LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. This is your annual New Year prayer and fasting, day number five. Tonight is January 8, Friday, our last night. Let's start with the reading of the word. Psalm 18, verses 1 to 3. Praise for deliverance of the servant of the Lord, David, who spoke the words of this song to the Lord on the day the Lord rescued him from the grasp of all his enemies and from the power of Saul. He said, I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God, my rock, where I seek refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call to the Lord, who is worthy of praise, and I was saved from my enemies. God is a shield and refuge. God is a refuge for the weary, a rock for the confused, a safe haven for the lost. Our God is a strong tower we can run to when we are afraid and hurting. He is the one we can always count on. When you go through a challenging situation or season in your life, you might feel unsafe. Perhaps you wonder if you'll be reprimanded at work because someone talked negatively about you behind your back. Or maybe someone started a rumor about you in school and your nervous people will shun you. Or what if you feel misunderstood by your spouse and hold on to hope that they won't keep up on you. Feeling uncertain about your future or where you stand with someone happens your emotions are so very real, and it's okay to wrestle with those feelings. But what you must do is come to a place of measuring those fears and emotions next to our mighty God. When you're afraid and unsure, feeling alone in your struggle, run to the only refuge that can save you. Run to the God who understands you and feels the anguish you feel. Know that the Father is a safe place and a rock you can stand on. When you can get that perspective, your fears should fade into the distance and your emotions settle to a place of peace. God sees you. He understands what you are going through. He's there with you. And He loves you. Place your confidence in our mighty God. And any time that faith begins to diminish or shake, run right back to the mighty fortress that is guaranteed to take you to take you in and keep you safe. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner, but I believe that you died upon the cross for me, that you shed your precious blood for the forgiveness of my sin. And I believe that on the third day, you rose from the dead and went to heaven to prepare a place for me. I accept you now as my Savior, my Lord, my God, my friend. Come into my heart and set me free from my sin. And because you are my Savior, I shall not die, but have everlasting life. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we also pray for the COVID-19 
that you will put a stop for this pandemic, Lord God. You will heal people who are sick with COVID-19. We pray for people, Lord God, who are suffering from anxiety and depression. Lord, we lift up to you our denomination, Church of the Nazarene, that you continue to use us to make disciples of all nations. We pray, Lord God, for the 2021 plans of our church, LA Field Naz. We speak of blessings for our leadership, for our church. At LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. We pray, Lord God, for the salvation of our relatives and friends. We pray, Lord, that you reveal yourselves to them. We pray, Lord God, that uh, as you make known yourself to them, you will bless them and uh, share the joy of our salvation, Lord. We continue to pray, Lord God, for complete healing for Carney, for Vedi, for Shela, for Chito, for Aryan, for Rachel. Thank you, Lord God, for you completely healed Ron, Eric. We seek your help, Lord God, and pray for Mateo. We pray for protection and for him to come home. We pray, Lord God, that uh, this year will be a better year for all of us. And whatever challenges will come along our way, you will be there for us. You will be our refuge. You will be our strength. You will be our fortress. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. For our fellowship schedule, we have every Wednesday, 7 p.m., walk through the Bible, virtual midweek live, Facebook, YouTube, Friday, 8 p.m., Bible study and prayer party, Sunday, 9 a.m., in person at Wiley Chapel, virtual worship live, Facebook, YouTube. We encourage you to follow these guidelines for the best possible way to love others in your return to LA Field Nest Church. Please wear a mask. Seating will be limited. And please sit with those you came to service with. Maintain physical distancing. Six feet apart from those who don't live within your household. Please keep three seats between households. Pick up communion, sermon notes, and drop off your tithes and offerings in the lobby prior to entering the worship center. If you are sick or have been exposed to someone who is sick, worship with us online. Kids, youth services will be temporarily put on hold. We believe that we must be fearless, but we also believe that we should not be reckless. We should follow all the protocols of the government and as well as put our trust and faith in God. We must put a strike, we must put a balance in those two things. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for the last five nights. God bless you. See you on Sunday. Bye.